This is a patent for a wrench invented by J.H. Himes. It was patented January 8, 1895. It's patent number 532061. I've recreated this wrench based on the patent drawings. On this sheet is the specification for the wrench. Figure 1 is a side view of the wrench and figure 2 is a section view based on this section line through the center of the wrench. So in his drawing he refers to letter A being the handle of the wrench and one end of the wrench being forked and that's what you see here the two forks of the wrench that point B on the wrench is the screw that connects to the two forks of the wrench and holds in place this disc C with these ratchet teeth and then there is this recess D for a bolt head or nut. And here there's this pawl D which pivots on this point E and engages the ratchet teeth on the disc. And that you can see right here. There's this flat spring F that's attached to the handle here and that holds this pole against this C and engages the teeth. And here's spring F holding this against the teeth. There's another screw position here, E, and this is so you can move this pole forward and you can use a smaller disc on the wrench. And then the pole would be moved forward to engage with the ratchet teeth. And you can hear the wrench ratcheting as I'm loosening this bolt. And when you get to this point, you can either lift the pole up and go back to the beginning, or just simply spin the disc around until it engages again. So I'll replace one of the discs with the smaller one so you can see how that would work. And then you would just take this screw out and move this pole up ahead to this position. I thought this was kind of an interesting ratchet wrench idea for 1895 and I just wanted to make one and see how it would actually function.